This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. And this is Idya. There's a monster in my podcast. Next to an advertisement for Nervofil, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> an advertisement for sleeping pills, no longer available. Yep. Yeah. Poor Germany. <laughs> Um, this is this is not this is another family tree, you know, creature. Um, the Cthulhu's third wife was a pulsating, writhing worm-like creature that dwelt beneath the crust of the earth. <laughs> so, you know, <sighs> yep. The, uh, no, it's a, it's a, it's a big old worm. Uh, I like this and like relatively sessile. Well, yeah, no, it's it's it, it like it's literally embedded beneath the crust of a dual star. <laughs> yeah. There, yeah, there's no a, reason to ever encounter this. I, I refer to this as Cthulhu's third wife, but, wife, but it's his first because there's this great line where uh, Idya was the first of three mates for great Cthulhu as he winged his way to Earth. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a real like gas grass or ass kind of like free reeling Cthulhu <laughs> impregnating the cosmos kind of? It, it sounds like yeah. uh, it, it frames Cthulhu as if he was like a uh, like a like a farm league baseball player in the a 70s. Uncle. Yeah, yeah, no, just just like he, like you know, like as he went around playing games, like you just said, he had f- f- different families in every major in every major city as he like just uh, as he went around on tour, basically. Yeah. But like <laughs> he didn't just he didn't just sire you know Cthulhu and Zothamog and Ganathoa and all these. He took them. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, uh, I'm gonna take the kids. Bye, bye, honey. The great thing about the great old ones is they keep getting older, and I stay the same age. <laughs> The um yeah I don't uh yeah uh so basically if you summon this thing uh it opens up beneath you and throws you into its white marshmallowy goo mm-hmm. uh and that's a good thing right you want that you summon this in order to be drowned right and, and if, if you, you don't get drowned you're upset yes it is a it is a major shame the uh mm-hmm. yeah you, you you have not been chosen yeah uh to stand over a pit <laughs> as it opens <laughs> yes. so. Um, of the Zothic matriarch. Um, right. And that's really it. There's no intelligence or motivation. No, no. This thing. Uh, we don't get enough for this. This is actually a pretty bummer two weeks mm-hmm. we're sitting down with today. Uh, not to not to prime the pump for anybody. No, uh, no. You know, because the episodes may, in fact, be good. But mm-hmm. after, you know, coming down after Haster yeah, stuff, yeah. this is going to be a little bit rough. Yeah, the highs were never going to be quite that high uh, for yeah. a while. At least, at least until we get to Nyarlatha Fest. But, yeah, which is not that far away. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, but like just you know, uh, it yeah, it doesn't want anything. It doesn't really have abilities. Uh, it has pseudopods, but like all it does is like throw you into its body, where you are subject to drowning rules, which makes her about as scary as a kiddie pool. Yeah, that that whole sentence right there sounded like Cole was just extemporaneously speaking about this guy, but he's actually reading from the divorce proceedings. <laughs> Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. 